Let's look now at how to do trigonometric functions for the trigonometry lesson. So on the calculator, we have a number of trig functions. And if I zoom in, you'll be able to see better. So here we've got our sine, our cos or cosine, and our tan or tangent. When doing trigonom trigonometry, we're wanting to use those buttons again, as with everything, in the same order as we would see the question written down on the page. So if I wanted to find the answer to sine 30, for example, I would go to the sine button here, press that, and we can now see on the screen it's come up with sine and an open bracket. Type in my 30, close the bracket, press equals, and sine 30 is 0 0.5. Clear that. Cos, let's do cos 30 again. So exactly the same, I press cos, it's come up on the screen with an open bracket, put in 30, close the bracket, equals, and there we've got cos 30. And the same with tan. If you get numbers that you're not expecting with trigonometric functions, chances are your calculator will be set to radians. Radians is just another way of measuring angles, but it's not one we use in this course. So before doing any trigonometry on your calculator, check that you've got a little d there. If you go to setup, I'll do that again more slowly. So setup here in yellow, so it's in yellow, so I need my shift, and then click setup. If you go to setup, you can see there's a variety of different um, formats to have your calculator in. Number three here, deg, that means degrees. Number four is radians. If your calculator is in radians, if I just show you, you'll be able to see at the top a little R but we want it in degrees. So if I go back to setup, go shift, setup, and then I want number three for degrees, you can now see we're back in degrees.